WCJB TV 20 News, Morning Edition. Results of a new study from the Council for, Council for Responsible Nutrition show that 72% of all physicians and 89% of nurses take dietary supplements. But what are they recommending to their patients? Dr. Donica Moore gave me a closer look. Well, we did a survey uh, called Life Supplemented, and we were looking at the personal and professional habits of physicians and nurses. Uh, what we found is that physicians and nurses who are personally taking supplements are more likely to recommend them to their patients, but we don't know if that's a chicken or egg phenomenon. Now, which supplements do we find that doctors and nurses are taking most, and why is that? Well, the overwhelming number one supplement that they're taking is a multivitamin, and I think that's because uh, there are many reasons to take a multivitamin, particularly to fill in the gaps in our general nutrition. Um, but after multivitamins, we did see a gender gap. So we saw different uh, responses for males and females. Overwhelmingly, the male physicians were more likely to be taking products to reduce their risk of heart disease and support their cardiovascular health, whereas women were much more likely to be focusing on bone health. Now, all of these vitamins and supplements obviously aren't right for everyone, so what mm -hmm. should we know about our healthcare professionals' personal habits when it comes to asking about what's good for us as opposed to what's just good for them? Well, we don't need to know about our specific healthcare professionals' personal habits, but what this survey tells us, uh, looking at physicians and nurses in general, is that the use of vitamins supp and supplements uh, and the recommendations to use vitamins and supplements is now officially mainstream. We know that 68% of the general adult American population are taking vitamins and supplements, and that's about 150 million Americans. But this survey showed us that the use among physicians and nurses is even higher. So 72% of physicians were using vitamins or supplements, and 89% of nurses were using one of those products. Now you have a website. Can you tell us what we can find there? Yeah, the website is called lifesupplemented.org, and it has this great wellness scorecard tool that I really like. Uh, it's fun, it's interactive, it's easy to use. People can put in their own health information, which of course is not stored on the website, but they'll get feedback about ways that they can improve their health. And we're not just focusing on vitamins and supplements, but of course the three pillars of health and wellness, which is diet and nutrition, uh, healthy exercise habits, and the responsible use of vitamins and supplements. So of course we can all improve somehow, and this website tool can give us tips on how to do that. All right, well thanks so much for speaking with me this morning. Take care. Thank you, Amanda.